Hello everyone! Today I will showcase a really strong team for Ultra League Remix, which consists of Venusaur in the lead, and then Drapion as a safe switch, and Umbreon as a closer. And I built this team with the idea that Jellicent is one of the most common Pokémon, and all three of my Pokémon absolutely destroys Jellicent, so it has nowhere to go. I have played 75 games with this line, and I haven't lost a single game to a Jellicent team yet. Drapion can be excelled a lot if you wish, but I didn't have excel candies for it, so I just went with 100%er to level 41.5 and it still works really good. I have used this team for 3 days and I won 52 games and lost 23 for a total ELO gain of around 400 from 2500. And today I finished on place 154 on the leaderboard. So now I will showcase the set in which I hit expert. My first opponent in this set is Aegon and she leads with a Samurott, so that's a great lead for me and they switch into a Venusaur and I counter switch into Drapion, because uh, Drapion resists all of Venusaur's moves. Slightly more accurate would have been to make 4 Vine Whips in the beginning, I only make, made 2, but if I made 4 then I would still be able to reach 2 Crunches before my opponent's Venusaur reaches 3 Frenzy Plants. Uh, so I would still be able to win this matchup but then I would have more energy on my Venusaur and energy on Venusaur is typically more uh, efficient or more valuable than uh, energy on Drapion. But of, of course I'm still in a good spot since uh, I maintain switch advantage and Venusaur has a great matchup against this Samurott. But my opponent's last Pokemon is a Crewbat so uh, it is a very hard counter to my uh, Venusaur and uh, the typing wise uh, it's equal to Umbreon, but Umbreon is much more tanky than uh, than the Crewbat, so uh, I'm still in a good spot. Uh, the Crewbat will start debuffing me with Poison Fangs, but Umbreon is such a tank that uh, I can just let the first two go unshielded and then I will start shielding after this. Uh, I try to time my foul plays so that uh, I uh, hit the CMP ties. Uh, so that my opponent doesn't sneak any fast moves through. Uh, which is lucky for me that I did, because they tried to catch there, but I didn't throw, uh, because I wanted to make one more uh, one more snarl to hit the CMP on the next uh, charge move. Uh, and then I could easily just take down the Samurott, and uh, with a single resisted sludge bomb, uh, the crewbat will be put so low that my opponent resigns the game. My second opponent is Alfredel and he leads with a Shadow Machamp, which is great for Venusaur as long as I don't get hit by a Rock Slide. So uh, my opponent switched into Shadow uh, Snorlax and I made 6 Vine Whips to have a Frenzy Plant loaded in the back that I can use at any point then when the Switch Timer is up and uh, I switched in my own Umbreon because uh, this Umbreon doesn't want to see the Machamp so I know I can get a lot of value from it right now. Uh, so I shielded the first superpower because all of the other superpowers are going to be debuffed so they won't deal as much damage and then I charge up to basically 100 energy before throwing my charge move here and here I blindly uh, use my last resort uh, because I kind of expected my opponent to switch there uh, but they didn't catch the charge move on their Machamp. Uh, so now I will use my next last resort, they shield and uh, I use my banked frenzy plant and they shield again. So now my opponent has no more shields and uh, they have a Galarian Stunfisk in the back. So uh, I'm actually in a winning position already. Uh, Venusaur has a better matchup in Ultra League than in Great League against Galarian Stunfisk because uh, two frenzy plants is still enough to take down a Galarian Stunfisk and uh, I can easily, if I was at full health, I could easily tank two rock slides or an earthquake, uh, which is not as easy in Great League. But anyways, my opponent goes for a rock slide, takes me down, and uh, Drapion still has uh, plenty of HP to finish this game. If my opponent had close combat, then it could have been a different story, but uh, here I catch my opponent's charge move, and that's that. Moving on to game number 3 against Broke Traveler Ed, and he leads with an Escavalier, which is absolutely disastrous for my entire team. Uh, I have basically no play against it, but my best bet is to try to make my opponent to switch out and then deal with it with Umbreon with an energy advantage later in the game. Uh, so here I was hoping that my opponent also would switch, but instead they stayed in and forced a shield and then switched, so now I won't even have energy advantage, I won't have shield advantage, I won't have anything at all. So I'm in a completely losing spot and uh, at least I can get one shield here and then 
I will switch into Venusaur as soon as the switch timer is up, so that I can use my Drapion as an extra shield later in the game, but my opponent carries Payback on his Machamp, so uh, here I will just let my uh, Venusaur go down, and uh, I'm in a completely losing spot. Uh, my only chance is to farm down with Umbreon, and hopefully my energy advantage can deal with Escavalier, but then my opponent's last Pokemon is a Snorlax, so at this point I have no chance at all to win, and therefore I resign. Moving on to game number 4 against the Smooth, and he leads with a Jellicent, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, this entire team was built to destroy Jellicent, so uh, here it doesn't matter if my opponent switches and tries to hide with the Jellicent, it's going to be hard countered either way. So right here, uh, since my opponent is staying in, it tells me that they are also very weak to uh, Venusaur in the back. So what I should have done is I should have gone into Drapion as soon as I saw the Galvantula, but uh, instead I stayed in for some reason, which I frankly believe is a bad play. Uh, but now I go into Drapion, so I still have plenty of health and plenty of energy on my uh, Venusaur to deal with whatever they have in the back, and it's likely something that Venusaur can counter since my opponent stayed with Jellicent in the lead. So here, uh, just before they reach the next lunge, I uh, connect with, or uh, I, I use my crunch, but they shielded. And then I'm letting my uh, Drapion go down, because I don't know where I want to spend my last shield yet. Uh, so I'm going to let uh, my opponent connect with another uh, lunge, and then I'm farming down. So I basically got some energy on Venusaur and a lot of energy on Umbreon against my opponent's last Pokémon, plus they have an extra shield that is Jellicent with a little HP left. So my opponent's last Pokemon is uh, the Alolan Ninetales, a Charm Tails, and they tried to catch a charge move with Jellicent, but they failed, so all they did was give some extra energy to my Venusaur. And here uh, I could have gone for the Sludge Bomb, since I survived that charm, uh, but it doesn't matter, I'm still in a winning position and this last resort is able to take down the Ninetales. Moving on to the last game of the set against Kusun, and he leads with a Gyarados. So this is not just any Gyarados, this is a Legacy Dragon Tail Gyarados, which is basically the same as a Dragon Breath Gyarados, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so here I connect with the Frenzy Plant, and I want to keep my Venusaur alive, uh, and I want to check if my opponent has a Fighter in the back. So I'm switching into a Drapion to draw out the Fighter, but they switch into a Galarian Stunfisk, and here some people might argue that it's better to have Aqua Tail than uh, Sludge Bomb as a second charge move on uh, Drapion, but I actually disagree, because Aqua Tail is such a bad move, uh, and Sludge Bomb gives much better coverage against a lot of things, uh, and a super effective Aqua Tail actually deals less damage than a Crunch. Uh, so, well, that's worth thinking about. So, uh, just the Crunch spam is usually enough. And here, I. Uh, my opponent's last Pokémon is an Escavalier, so once again, the worst possible Pokémon to face uh, for this team, but this time, my opponent has forgot that he has shields. When is he going to use them? I don't know. But he lets two charge moves through an Escavalier, and that's really great, because then I can just basically try to snarl down all the way, and then have a 100 energy for the Gyarados when it comes in. So I double shield my Umbreon, and then as soon as he switches into Gyarados, I throw my foul play, and then he doesn't shield once again. So now uh, I don't know what he wants to do with all of these shields, but he has 3 HP against Venusaur, and I just farm down and win the game. So that was a 4-1 run with this anti jellicent team that I've been using the last 3 days to climb 400 points and even hit the leaderboard. And thanks for watching!